everybody, Vegan Family Journey here, and we're going over our enchiladas from the other day. We've got poultry seasoning, salt, pepper, cumin, garlic powder, chili powder, paprika, um, frozen corn, frozen spinach, canned black beans, onion, chow cheese, corn tortillas, canned enchilada sauce, and of course the Morning Star veggie pulled pork. We're kind of using it more as chicken. So here I've heated up some oil in a skillet on about medium, medium high heat and I'm adding the chopped onion to the pan. It's about a half an onion, um, give or take, and I'm just breaking it up. I only want to lightly sweat the onion. I'm not trying to brown them or anything. Um, to this I'm going to be adding the frozen corn. I think that came out to be something like three quarters of a cup not too bad and it is still frozen at this point and now I'm adding a cup's worth of frozen chopped spinach again um, I did not take the time to thaw any of these veggies out I figured they can thaw in the hot pan because I'm lazy and uh, it was late so here I'm just incorporating the corn the onion and the spinach together and this is where I'm going to start adding the seasoning. I can tell you that I do not measure seasoning. Not for the most part. I go by the taste and I go by the smell. So I've added some cumin, that was some paprika, uh, now some, I believe some chili powder, yep. And um, it's just to your liking, to your taste buds. Uh, there's some garlic powder. And maybe I'm not adding quite as much as you think I should add. Um, and that is because I season in layers. So this first seasoning is on those main veggies. I'll season again once I add the rest of the ingredients to the pan and so now I'm just once again incorporating everything together making sure the seasoning gets on all the spinach corn and onions and taking a moment to just let it cook together let the the different spices permeate the veggies before I move on to add the rest of the ingredients now here I keep walking back and forth I gotta tell you I was trying to add the Morning Star veggie pulled pork bits to it and I could not get the freaking bag open so I walked over to the drawer to get the scissors and cut the bag it just wasn't cooperating at all I come back I'm still trying to open the damn bag even though I cut it with the scissors and it's still not opening so I have to go back and get the scissors one more time and this time I just really whacked the top of the bag off hopefully it works and yep there we go so I am pouring the entire bag into the skillet and that's why it looks like it's smoking it's because the veggie pulled pork bits were actually still frozen as well um, there I'm just adding a tablespoon of water to the pan to keep it loose and I am sprinkling some poultry seasoning on top of the veggie pulled pork pieces because I am trying to make it more like chicken. So I figure poultry seasoning should or could kind of do the trick. Um, I think it was okay. It wasn't exactly how I thought it would be, but um, it did. It was good. And now I'm adding the canned black beans that have been rinsed and drained. Uh, I think it came out as well to about a cup's worth. It wasn't quite the whole can. And at this point, I am re-seasoning. So salt, pepper, cumin, garlic powder, paprika, and chili powder. And I believe that's it. And like I said, I season in layers. So um, some recipes where they'll call for like a uh, half a teaspoon uh, whatever I would usually do like a quarter teaspoon and then later on another quarter teaspoon because each um, every time you add something to it 
it needs to pick up the flavor as well. So now I'm just mixing everything back together. Get it nice incorporated because I want it to be even. I want I don't want to like bite into it and there not be any spinach or bite into it over here and all you have is a mouthful of black beans. I want to make sure that it's incorporated really well. And then you just give it uh, a couple of minutes to cook, to heat through. And then you can put that to the side. And now I've opened up my Las Palmas enchilada sauce. And I'm heating it up in a saucepan. Um, the reason why I am heating it up is um, it's not really necessary for the enchiladas themselves since they're going to go in the oven. But I actually dip the corn tortillas into the warmed up enchilada sauce. And the reason I do that is A, I want the taste of the enchilada sauce on the inside and the outside of the tortillas, but also um, the heated up enchilada sauce helps to um, soften the corn tortillas so that when you roll them, they don't split. Um, I pre-vegan when I would make uh, sour cream chicken enchiladas I would actually dip the corn tortillas into some warm oil does the same thing it just um, softens them so that they won't tear and I think um, I think I did 12 but um, let's see uh, three of them kind of um, didn't work so we ended up with nine and there I did put a little bit of enchilada sauce in the bottom of the pan um, just because I don't know it's what I do I do it when I do lasagna and stuff like that it's so the stuff doesn't stick and burn to the glass pan and then I just took my tortillas and I added the filling and started rolling them up um, I really haven't rolled enchiladas in quite a while and I would see you can see the tear right there on that one that one wasn't quite warm enough so when I tried to wrap it it tore it split um, yeah so I like I said I haven't done it in quite a while so my rolling techniques are totally whack but you just uh, you don't want to overstuff them because you don't want them to split. They're not like gigantic burrito size tortillas. They're just little corn tortillas. And then you just line them up, and any time filling dropped out, I just stuffed it in. And um, I think, like I said, we ended up with about nine. There you go. They're all done. And now I'm going to drizzle some of the enchilada sauce over the top because they are enchiladas. I do want them not necessarily so much as saucy, but I want them to have the flavor of the enchilada sauce. It's, you know, not rocket science. And you just put on as much of it as you want or as little of it as you want. Just depends again on your taste. We happen to like enchilada sauce, so I made sure that each one was truly covered. And then we popped them in the oven. I think the oven was, um, I think it was at 350, and I popped them in for about 20 minutes. And uh, when they came out, they looked like that, and they were a little bit drier, so I added a little bit more of um, enchilada sauce on the tops of them only because they were going to go back in the oven. Now the store that we shop at, they didn't have any vegan shredded cheese um, substitute. They did have the chow cheese, so I just picked that up and I figured I could use that on top. And I did. I just cut some slices in half at a diagonal for these triangle shapes and I laid them across the enchiladas. Then I popped them back into the oven for another 10 minutes and then broil for about five minutes so it would really melt the cheese. Top them with some chopped avocado and there you go, all done. Vegan enchiladas.